So today I wanna to give you some tips on creating an amazing wedding video. Last week, my friend Casey got married to Sarah. Casey and Sarah are getting married today. And Haley and I shot it. Don't let that beautiful wife of yours go, because she's freaking awesome and I'm, you know, I'm gonna be on her side. If you shoot an edit video, you will be asked to shoot and edit someone's wedding video at some point in your life. I'm not a wedding videographer, but I am a filmmaker, and if you know how to use a camera, then occasionally someone is going to ask you to shoot their wedding. And having done it a few times, I wanted to give you a few tips to make it great. First, a wedding video needs to just be amazingly beautiful. And that means you need to get a lot of great B-roll shots. Now, I found it really easy to shadow the photographer and shoot over their shoulder for most of it. Let them do all the hard work directing the bride and groom. Now, I have a couple tips to shoot great B-roll. First of all, shoot as slow as possible. In other words, shoot slow motion for as much of it as you can. It always looks cool. I'm shooting this one here at 120 frames per second. Next, add movement to your shots. Now, I did use a slider when I shot some of the video, but at times, I just slide across a rail or slowly move into them as I shot it. Then you can click on the image stabilization button in your editing program and it will smooth it out and make it look pretty awesome. And finally, shoot into the sun as much as possible. Too often I've found that new filmmakers and photographers think that they need to shoot with the sun at their backs. Now, I prefer shooting towards it as much as possible. It creates great lens flares and it really does create a cool look. Next, when it comes to the ceremony, don't think about beautiful shots necessarily, just concentrate on getting it. Almost everyone is gonna to wanna to hear what they've said during their vows. Plus, it will create a really nice bit to include that video with the audio. Then it was late night phone calls and longing smiles. And that means that you're gonna need them to wear a microphone so that you can record it. As another way to get coverage, I set up three GoPros in various different places around the bride and groom. And the reason I did that is that it was really easy, it didn't require anyone else to be there, and I could just let them record the whole time just to make sure I got it. And obviously it's a lot easier if you have two people because one can go with the bride, Haley, one can go with the groom, me, plus Haley can be on one side shooting and I can be on the other side shooting and you get full coverage. Now is the tricky part. You need to think ahead to what you need to tell the story. In my head, I wanted some fun sound bits from the wedding. How crazy is that? Incredibly. Feel any different? Yeah. I wanted the buildup before the wedding. And I wanted some amazing B-roll to just splash in at the end of the two of them together. And by getting all of these things, I think it was a format that really worked and allowed me to edit it up later. My last tip is to remember that this whole wedding video is not about you. It's about them. And while that might seem obvious, a lot of times, if you are a director, you call the shots. But if you do that at a wedding, it's going to be stressful for the bride and the groom. And for the most part, I would recommend shooting the wedding video as if you're shooting a documentary. Be that fly on the wall. Make it so that they don't even know you're there and get the natural reactions as they're happening. And part of the reason you can do that is because often they will have a wedding photographer who is setting up shots and you can capture this behind the scenes feel, which I think is very powerful. And occasionally when it's called for it, you can step in and do some directing. You can have them kiss or twirl their dress. I really think you'll be able to do this on the fly as long as you remember that you're not directing your own movie. It has to be good for them too. After all, it is their wedding. You survived, you did it. All right, so those are my tips for inspiration. Here is Casey and Sarah's wedding video. Let them know in the comments below what you think. If you're getting ready to shoot a wedding video and you have some questions, leave them in the comments below. Hopefully as a community, we can answer those. All right, Jonas and I will see you next Tuesday.